What is going on everybody? It's Titanic P. Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome you guys back to the channel. And if you guys want to continue to follow me along this journey as I build my sneaker collection, there's a list of my socials right there on the screen. I also need a favor guys. Need you to like the video, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on today's sneaker. And also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're trying to reach the goal of 1.5K subs. So let's get there. Yes, spread the word. Let's get there. And I greatly appreciate it. And also, here's the Discord group that I'm part of. The Family Vibes Discord group. Here's the link on Instagram. There's all kinds of helpful hints and tips to cop the sneakers that your heart desire for retail or close to it. There's a lot of great information that these guys put out. They got all the good equipment. They got all the info. They got the 411 like Mary J. Blige said. So if you have any further questions about it, the Discord group, here's the uh the Instagram account. You can message the account. They will respond to you get you the information you need and get you all hooked up and plugged in now today we're taking a look at a sneaker it's an early review this sneaker is set to release in october it already released overseas i was able to reach out to uncle billy goat so i got my pair early it's a jordan and uh Jordan brand always does this to us. They put out an exclusive sneaker that's stupid limited, and then they make a play off it by giving us a GR version to make us feel like we have a piece of that limited sneaker. So, I mean, the sneaker that they played off of, I'm gonna I'm keep it a buck. I can't afford it, so this was the next best thing, and we're gonna get into it. Here is the box. Black box, red flight on the top, and you already know it is a Jordan 4. Here's the box label, and I'm gonna read it. it says Air Jordan 4 Retro SE, color black, light steel gray, and white. Side fit in person a pair. And I'm not sure what the retail price is gonna be. This is the box top. Looks very familiar inside the box. It looks just like those Jordan 4, uh, what those canvas joints were. The purple, I have a review on them too. Yeah, the uh, Zen Master, yeah. This is like the Zen Master box. It looks just like that on the inside. You have your splatter of uh, tissue paper. You got no lot stamping here, but we do have a Green and white YDM sticker. See that down in the corner? There you go. Green YDM sticker. And we do have our sticker from Uncle Billy Goat. And we have that authentication card letting us know that I have a legit pair of sneakers from Uncle Billy Goat. All right, let's bring on the sneakers. Here we go guys, we have the Air Jordan Retro Full Black Canvas, AKA the Eminem PE Ripoff. Hey, Nike is capitalizing on these, these, these shoes that a lot of sneakerheads desire and really want bad. And so they're making the money two times. But let's get into the sneaker, it's called the Black Canvas due to the fact that the majority of the upper is made up of canvas material. You have canvas here, here, and also here and right there. You have a black, uh, your netting, black uh, behind it, background, and on your, uh, going around your toe box, if you look a little closely, oh, let me fix the lighting. If you can see guys, around here in the toe box there's some suede going on here on the upper looking at the midsole you got your black hit here your light steel hit right there black right there you got white going around your uh air housing clear bubble and you got that that uh white inside and that leads to the outsole 
here is the outsole, black at the heel, black at the toe. You got that red hit right here. You got your light steel gray right there. Heron bone traction on the bottom. You got your white hit here and bam. John Jump Man in red right there. You got John Jump Man on the heel tab on your John Fultz light steel gray heel tab. There you go. And you have, you can see that canvas material kind of good right there. Look at the medial side. Yes, you got your uh, leg wing extender just like on the uh, the lateral side, you got your light steel gray hitch right here, just like on the other side. You got your black netting with the black background, and just like I showed you earlier, you have that swing going around your toe box. Look on the inside. Come stuff with tissue. Also, here is your insert. This is your insert, black insert. John Jump Man right there, and they got that sticker. And look on the back. Been seeing this technology a lot on your inserts. That Dream Cell insert. And this is the toe box. A closer look at the toe box. You got canvas material on the toe box and the suede going around the mud guard comes factory lace with these black laces black flat laces all the way up to the top you got your netting black netting underneath that stops about right here and you have a black woven patch guys black woven patch with the light steel gray Jordan jump man logo with flight in the red lettering going on there and we're gonna go to the back side you have a woven patch with air Jordan upside down in red and you have a black uh, cotton sock liner going on there. And let's see, can I get you guys the sizing tag? There you guys go. A look at that sizing tag. I'm gonna go ahead and read it. US size 15. Size 15 gang, you heard me? Production date is February the 9th of 2022 to April 19th of 2022. So they only spent like a couple of months of making these. So it's a pretty clean sneaker. It's simple, but it's very effective. And Nike is double dipping from the pot. They made their money off the Eminem PE, the Carhartt PE. And now this is like a general release version of that. They made a little play. So it looks similar, but it's nowhere close to that sneaker because they probably use a, a whole way better materials on here on the uh, m and PE. They probably have a, a lot of quality materials on that sneaker. Not saying that these materials are bad, but normally when they do those big collabs with the celebrities like that, they use the, the best the best materials on the sneaker. So let me know what y'all think of these. These will release in October. I want to say October the 1st, I believe, but don't quote me on that because most of these dates are just placeholder dates because dates have been pushed back a lot during this year due to shipments and different things of that nature. So let me know your thoughts on the sneaker. And like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack. I'm signing out.